optical activity consider an unpolarized beam of light here the electric field is vibrating in all directions and that is passed through a polarizing filter then we get a plain polarized light beam so here the electric field is vibrating along this direction along the shown direction and that elect that light is passed through an optically active medium and when the light is passed through the optical active medium output nangal nokkel there then the plane of polarization get changed ivada namaku plane of polarization ingane ullathu ivada aamba namaku in this direction aanu so when plane polarized light is passed through an optically active medium the plane of polarization get rotated through an angle now these types of mediums are said to be optically active so the property of a substance to rotate the plane of vibration or plane of polarization of a plane polarized light is called optical activity examples are quartz quartz is having optical activity then sugar solution sugar solution then quinine q u i n i q9 q9 in alcohol will show in alcohol will show optical activity then turpentine will show optical activity so these materials are optically active that means they can what they can change they can rotate the plane of vibration or plane of polarization of a plane polarized light now depending on the sense of rotation we can have two types of optical activities first one dextro rotatory and the second one is levo rotatory levo rotatory and dextro rotatory if the plane of polarization gets turned or rotated towards the right when viewed against the direction of the light then the optical rotation is called dextro rotatory so if the plane of polarization gets turned towards the right when we view this light beam against the direction of light then the optical rotation is said to be dextro rotatory so rotation towards right or turning towards right turn dextro rotatory the actually in latin language the term dextro means right and if the plane of polarization gets turned towards the left when viewed against the direction of light then the optical rotation is said to be levo rotatory so if the rotation or turning is towards left then we call it as levo rotatory v o levo rotatory and levo in latin means left so liquids and solutions of optically active medium optically active substances rotates the plane of polarization and the angle of rotation produced will depend upon the length of the optically active medium it will depend upon the concentration of the solution c and also the wavelength of the incident light and it will depend upon the temperature of the solution so the angle of rotation producer can depend upon the length of the length of the active medium then concentration of the solution wavelength of the light used and temperature now for a given temperature and wavelength at a given temperature and wavelength the rotation producer theta will be proportional to length of the liquid column or length of the active medium and concentration so you can write down the equation as theta is equal to s into lc some proportionality constant s namaku ivada introduce cheyanam so s is specific rotation so how to define specific rotation specific rotation s will be equal to theta by lc now if the length of the liquid column is 1 10 cm if i take length of the liquid column l as 10 cm and concentration c is 1 g per cc 1 g per cc then s is said to be s is equal to theta then s is equal to theta is the specific rotation is the specific rotation 
So specific rotation is defined as the rotation S is equal to theta. Epron S is equal to theta over length L 10 centimeter concentration 1 gram per cc of. So I can define specific rotation S as the rotation produced by a 10 centimeter long column of solution of concentration 1 gram per cc. Specific rotation can be defined as the rotation produced by a 10 cm long column of solution. 10 cm liquid column, 10 cm column of solution with concentration 1 gram per cc. 1 gram per cc concentration is 10 cm length of column produced in the liquid solution produced in the uh, specific rotation on a specific rotation okay so if we express our length of the solution in centimeter then rotation angle theta can be written as theta is equal to s into l by 10 into c theta is equal to s into l by 10 into c so you know that 10 on divided and then because the will define g the power 10 cm non specific rotation define it. So, when this equation apply the length of the solution is to be expressed in centimeter. If length of solution is in centimeter, then the, uh, the rotation theta will be equal to SLC by 10. Thank you.